this is Leanne from Echidna Sewing Products. I'd like to show you how to create a background fill pattern from an existing design. So first of all, we're going to click on embroidery and I'm going to select the design that I'd like to use. So let's go through and find that. Uh, okay, so this is the design here created by Lindy Goodall for our July um, charity, which is the Animal Welfare League. Um, so we're going to set that. And what I'd like to do now is to create a stamp pattern from this design here. So I'm going to click on create the stamp pattern. And from here you'll see it picks up all of the outlines of the design. So if I just increase this here, you'll see how it eliminates all of that background and it now becomes one piece. So we can create that into a stamp. And I'm now going to save that to my design center. So that will be in our patterns list and click OK. I'm now going to go back to the home screen and go to my design center and select the shape. So that will be up here now in the stamp creator. And I'm going to select an outline, click OK. And I'm going to now fill in this particular shape with a fill pattern. So I'm going to select a fill pattern. So I've selected just a normal fill pattern. Click OK, click on the fill and now tap into the shape and you've now filled in the pattern. I might change that to a different color. Simple as that. Now click on next and I'd like to reduce the density so that it's down to about 90% so that it opens up the fill a little bit more and click on set and click on the preview button. Click OK. And we now have our fill pattern here. I'm now going to save that to my hard drive on my machine. And I'm now going to go back home again. And I now want to add my design to this. So I'm going to click on embroidery and I'm going to click on the uh, hard drive of the machine and click on a fill pattern and click on set. I'm now going to add and I'm going to find that design that I can add so that we'll go onto the top of that design. And click on embroidery and I now need to just hoop up my fabric and set it ready to go for embroidery. So if I come over here now, you can see that this is how the design will actually finish up looking. And this was on a fur fabric and if I didn't have that background, that actual design would get lost in the fur of the fabric. So happy sewing, everybody.